Atea Catalina is a big step for us. It's um, going to America, which is uh, for most European companies at any rate a big step. But also we're going to the cradle of endurance racing, which is California. And we want to showcase what we think swim run should be and what it is and how we love swim run. So going to the States will be a massive trip for us and I think it will be quite unique. The World Series race in itself on, on Catalina is going to be hard. Uh, it has lots of vertical. The island of Catalina is um, almost 750 meters high. So from, water, from the water level up to, to uh, the trails that go on the top of the ridge lines, there's a few fair strong climbs and also downhills. So some smashed legs, but on the other hand, you'll get some incredible views with the whole entire Pacific looking out to the west and then the 18 million city of Los Angeles looking into the east. So, I mean, it's like going to a twilight zone. Catalina Island on its, in itself is like going to Jurassic Park a little bit. Um, there's two, there's two um, hamlets where people live. City of Avalon, where, with very few people in the city, and then the town of Two Harbors. And the town of Two Harbors has, I think, 100 people that live in it. We have the start and the finish of the World Series, the sprint and the experience all in two harbors. So that in itself will be very cool. And then we are trying not to use as much elevation in, in the sprint and the experience so that we keep on the trails that are low. And again, we're doing figure of eights and playing with, with the natural environment. So the sprint and experience in Catarina will be a special treat for those who want to try something new. Catalina Island. The big question is, is it a swimmer's race or is it a runner's race? The World Series? I really don't know. I think it, it depends on if you're a strong runner or if you're a strong swimmer. But nowadays, I mean, the top, top level swim run, there is there's such a minor difference. And it depends on when the runs come and when the swims come and how you handle the cold because there are several long swims in a row. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I think it's uh, very well balanced, the race, actually, because you start off with a big, big run, and then you have consecutive swims and short, short runs. So it'll be, see. it'll be interesting to see. Catalina is a place where I think you should go and spend a couple of days. Uh, I said before it's like Jurassic Park and it's because where people live it's closed in with a fence. The animals are out in the nature beyond. There's buffalo, big buffalo, and you'll see them probably during the race. Um, the nature is wild, hiking trails are fantastic, and there's no people. It's empty. So it's like going to a place where uh, you can just disappear in nature and it's so close to the mainland and to like I said uh, LA San Diego you know it's just massive amounts of people and just within an hour and a half there's nobody so take the time and go and enjoy it food is great everything is great